So today, we're going to be discussing how WWE finally addressed the leaked Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks images, Paige and Alberto Del Rio's situation, and much more. Let's start things off with the leaked Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks images. We briefly mentioned these leaked images a few weeks ago when they first came out, and it seems like WWE has just provided some context for these images. So what are we talking about? Well, WWE leaked some huge images of Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks taking part in this mysterious photo shoot, but they didn't provide many details or information. They just showed Alexa and Sasha on set and pretty much left everything up in the air for the fans to discuss. With all the rumors going around about The Undertaker's appearance at Survivor Series, and especially with Sasha's image, where she literally has on his attire, while doing his signature gesture. Everyone figured this was Undertaker related. Fast forward a few weeks and we have WWE's official reveal about the leaked images. It was in fact related to The Undertaker. The photo shoot, like many assumed, did turn out to be a tribute photo shoot for The Undertaker leading up to his final farewell at Survivor Series. So we've seen the leaked version of the photo shoot, but WWE just dropped the first official image of the photo shoot and it is absolutely visually amazing. The first image they released shows Alexa Bliss on the bottom half with Jeff Hardy standing over her while he's also wearing The Undertaker's gear. As of right now, that's the only image WWE has released from the photo shoot, but there's definitely more images on the way. We already know that Sasha Banks did take part in the exact same photo shoot, so be on the lookout for her image from the photo shoot to be released soon. It seems like some of the male superstars took part in the photo shoot as well, so WWE is likely sitting on a lot of great images from this photo shoot, and they will continue to be released as we get closer to WWE Survivor Series 2020. Everyone likely remembers the non-stop drama between Paige and Alberto Del Rio from a few years ago. It was a dark time for Paige and basically all their issues were showcased to the public. Every day was something new with them. They were getting detained by police, verbally arguing loud at airports. Paige was suspended for going against the wellness policy. Literally, the list goes on and on for how much trouble Paige and Alberto found themselves in during that year. Reports in 2016 claimed that WWE was concerned for the young 24-year-old Paige at the time. There were many rumors going around that people believed Alberto was a bad influence for Paige and could likely get her WWE career off track. That reportedly was why we saw WWE draft Alberto and Paige to separate brands. It seems to be an attempt to split them up for Paige's sake and her safety. But as expected, that didn't help much, and Paige and Alberto pretty much went off the rails. We heard the rumors for years, but now Paige is finally opening up and speaking publicly about everything that happened that year. During a recent appearance on GAWTV, Paige commented on the situation. I've never spoken about it before. Whether podcasts or interviews, I always stayed away. But now, it's completely out there. I'm like... Why am I shying away from this? Why am I not brave enough to talk about it? Paige mentioned how she'll never call him by name again. Alberto is currently facing some criminal charges in the state of Texas. And Paige also commented on that situation as well and had this to say about it. He needs whatever is happening to him. Karma is a real thing. Paige's comments got back to Alberto and he responded to Paige via TMZ Sports and had this claim to make. It was the other way around. I have the evidence, not just words. He's considering taking legal action against Paige for defamation and asked her, why would you hurt me in a moment like this? So not a lot has changed since 2016. The situation here between the two of them is still very messy, but at least they've gone their separate ways and Paige seems a million times more happy where she's at right now compared to back then. So that's another great thing as well. Liv Morgan's current status on SmackDown was recently brought up in the news after her tag team partner Ruby Riot had a qualifying match for Survivor Series, and Liv was nowhere in sight. Liv didn't appear at ringside to manage Ruby and obviously didn't take part in her own qualifying match, so that caught everyone's attention. 
Was something wrong? Was she sick? Well, reports claim that Liv Morgan is perfectly fine and was backstage at SmackDown. She simply wasn't used on the show. So at least she's perfectly okay. Liv and Ruby did celebrate Ruby's win on Twitter. They released the idea that Liv still had plenty of time to qualify for Team SmackDown at Survivor Series. So we'll have to see if Liv Morgan will have a chance to qualify in the coming weeks. Paul Heyman receives new WWE role. Paul Heyman currently serves as this special counsel for Roman Reigns and does a phenomenal job at his role. But it seems like Heyman has just locked up a new WWE gig. Talking Smack was a huge hit show a few years ago and WWE has just brought it back with the hosts originally set to be Kayla Braxton and Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods unfortunately had to leave the show since he was drafted to Raw, so Kayla has been on the hunt for a new co-host. WWE experimented with a few different WWE personalities to be the co-host with Kayla Braxton, and it looks like they finally found someone. That someone being Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman was recently the guest co-host for Talking Smack, and the way he spoke, it seemed like he was implying that he'll be sticking around as the co-host for more than just this week. Heyman had this to say about the new role. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and I serve as special counsel to the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion Roman Reigns. And so, someone can keep Kayla on the straight and narrow. I now serve the public as your co-host of Talking Smack, because Kayla, from what I can see, has been talking smack just a little too much lately. So great typical words there from Paul Heyman, but the way he said, I now serve the public as your co-host of Talking Smack made everyone wonder if he'll be sticking around as a permanent part of the show. Kayla already does a phenomenal job, and if you permanently add Paul Heyman to the show as well, then maybe you can really create something as special as the original Talking Smack from a few years ago. Lastly, Carmella finally made her long-awaited return this week to WWE programming. Carmella was previously gone from WWE television since May, so nearly a six months absence, and this has led up to all of this. Carmella recently returned rocking a whole new look, bright red attire and laid out Sasha Banks. The message there is quite simple. What better way to make a statement and say that you're back than taking out the head of the women's division? Some people are wondering if this means Carmella will be inserted into a title feud with Sasha Banks right away. Things still aren't clear, and when it comes to that, maybe it was just Carmella making a statement, or maybe it was the first part of her story with Sasha Banks. I honestly don't think it would be smart to throw Carmella right into the title picture because obviously Carmella isn't going to defeat Sasha Banks for the title. Then again, it is WWE, and you never know, but in a normal circumstance, Carmella probably wouldn't be successful in defeating Sasha for the title. And then, where do you really take her from there? That's why I think it would be smart to start things off with maybe little feuds with Carmella versus Bianca Belair, and let Carmella build up this huge stack of wins before she challenges for the title. But we'll have to see how that plays out. Carmella had this to say, about her return during Talking Smack. That wasn't me. That was not me. That was what everyone out there wanted me to be, and I was sick of it. I am back to what I should be doing, and I should be on top. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to be on top. That's exactly what I did tonight. And pretty soon, the entire WWE universe, the entire world, is going to know exactly why I am untouchable. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.